So let's give a really simple example of um, uh, asking for a pay rise. <laughs> so most people uh, absolutely believe in the pub they're worth a pay rise. And most people absolutely don't go into their boss's office, sit down and make out a business case as to why their value to the organisation is such that, that they deserve a pay rise. Some of course will, but most don't. That's the tiger roaring. Uh, that's, I don't want us to speak truth to power, I don't want to risk being rejected by power, I don't want to step away from the crowd and be seen as different, I don't want poor, tall poppy syndrome. There's a whole load of things that come into play that compared with what do I want to do with my time here on earth and what do I want to achieve this year, month, whatever it may be, are irrelevant, but they crowd us out. They cause, in my vocabulary, the tiger to roar, the heartbeat goes when we think of talking to the boss because of all those consequences we're imagining, um, the, the voices of self-doubt kick off, the adrenaline flows and we back off doing what it was that heart and soul we wanted to do. It may be the pay rise, that was an example, it could be finally getting to learn how to give a great presentation, it could be finally being honest with your other half about how this relationship is going, it could be uh, admitting that uh, in my case for example corporate law isn't working, I want to try a different career uh, after investing a lot of time and uh, personal prestige, whatever that may mean these days in that occupation. Now it can be different for everybody, uh, the stimulus, but the process I think is going to be very similar.